Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Odena Adogi Chinoye from Iye Mission Hospital, Odena. I celebrate antibiotics week. So, I'm going to use the lecture on antibiotics just to educate ourselves. Maka antibiotics, the uses of antibiotics, the dangers of antibiotics. I video with Kefebo Antibiotics to do with the name, another name, antibacteria. This is just a medication that fights infections caused by bacteria. Now, Maka Otufoya bacteria, bacteria, and put there. And what are the types of antibiotics? Types of antibiotics, anyway. For the sake of this lecture, we believe, of course, I seek I dissect the types of class of antibiotics. Oh my god, no amount of the So for the sake of lecture, I could make major types like the bactericida and bacteriostatic antibiotics. Bacteriostatic antibiotics, you can even make bacteriostatic. These are antibiotics that kill the organism, they go and kill that bacteria. These are drugs that you give to kill the bacteria. By by any bacteria static, these are drugs that you give to stop the growth, stop them from reproducing, stop them from meeting and multiplying population, population of bacteria is the immune system of the of the individual. But the different illness in can have dangers of these antibiotics. I think not side that self, wherever actually where I want to concentrate, wherever each of self can maintain help. Because in our, in our society, Peter, one one major problem I name when one major problem I name when the way we abuse antibiotics. Everybody now wants antibiotics. Say, I oh, will see what I need. The next thing we eat, I know you have to go. You go typhoid and malaria. If you have a chemist, you have a typhoid and malaria. And these are the things that bring the dangers of antibiotics. One major danger of antibiotics is danger comes from overuse, underuse, not being used, or being used when it is not needed. And this danger of antibiotics is that you resistance. If you resistance, you have a resistance. before. Or wallow the oro, you will or man yes, it in the nature. On your kind of call resistance to antibiotics, and it comes because of this abuse. I mean, antibiotics. Antibiotics cannot work for um, infection caused by vi 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 viral infection. Antibiotics will not work for a fungal infection. Antibiotics only work for infection, infection bacteria. And I have a kind of confusion. On your way, oh, you know. Oye, more upper than us. The next thing on our dress is antibiotics. And some of most of this, most of this school, most of this school of Ankata, go a viral, viral, virally caused. And now, and they buy that. This is that the ways we abuse antibiotics. So when you now take antibiotics for things that you know that you shouldn't take antibiotics for when you don't need antibiotics or you use it. You another another way we, we abuse antibiotics. And when you tell me you have more than one week, you must say at three days. Feel you know they give you give it your own. That's underuse and that's abuse of antibiotics. Antibiotics have raw vitamin C. Over a process can move. Here I'm on the bovinary bovinary soy. Antibiotics are sitting off for one week. You must here I'm more here more here. I'm sitting on morning and night. I'm sitting on day night. I'm sitting on morning after night. You move you to have to make a show new for that community because failing to do so, you are using antibiotics and you are calling for resistance or overuse. What do you mean by overuse? Like I said, this is what I'm not in a more antibiotics. Ukwala, Kwabai, antibiotics. I don't know you about antibiotics. And these are times that you don't need antibiotics. You use it, use it, use it. Your body begins to form resistance to it. By the time you need is that antibiotics, you must have antibiotics for one reason or another. What is this resistance? You don't need antibiotics. You don't need antibiotics. More. I see that in a more antibiotics, you look at here. Antibiotics are frequently for one week. You look at here three days. You see. 
What do you do to that organism? That organism, that three days, oh my God, they are feeling better. They are, the organism, the bacteria is just weak then. The, the, the antibiotics they make you go weak. Mana, or move it up. Or not go weak. You will go see the antibiotics. What does the bacteria do? As you stop it then, it will gather strength. Strength and for gather. Organa say strength, or just have all money. All money. Ball like the whole place, you see that the corner, the corner. When you go see gum, how do we do this thing now so that by the time all go up at all, so we will not die? Then they will do what? They will now conform their body, conform their body parts. That by the time when you take that antibiotics again, that part of them, that part of them, that antibiotics, then take a metuta, they have conformed it, they make it in a way that. You will say that antibiotics will not touch that part of you. And that is when resistance starts. Or when you overtake it and overtake it, what does the body do? The body begins to form resistance. Oh no, the car is saying, oh, you need to eat, you need to eat, you need to eat. It's a little of a very good time. It's a little bit of a very good time. Once you beat him, that beating will not stand. This is how we use antibiotics, that resistance, that um, resistance, that the bacteria form resistance to antibiotics. And every year we have a very, very high number of resistance of antibiotics. That's why you see antibiotics have produced millions yearly. Because every year you begin to talk about antibiotics and then people continue to abuse antibiotics. I really want you to listen to this part of resistance very much. So that when you are sick, you go to the hospital. Then your health practitioner will look at you. Malu me need you and the antibiotics. See, doctor, they will look at you. Know that you need this. Do you need this drug? And if you don't need it, there's no point giving it to you. And when you need it, you're giving, you're giving antibodies when needed to reduce this resistance. Sometimes this resistance mix up. When you now need this antibody, because it's not working, you mix it, look for higher antibodies. And higher ones, they make it higher cost to you more. It's going to cost you more, cost you more money. Sometimes some make it, they all go to discuss. I think you know everyone, everyone can you see all that the world. And this thing brings problems. So if we can cut down, if we can cut down on our use of antibiotics, another thing would be this um, self-medication. You are just whatever is wrong with you. Okay, okay, put that. I see them now. Hey, if I'm a mess today, you forget that you, your car for you are not okay. okay. Now, if I'm male, okay, okay, what works okay, okay, doesn't mean that it's not work for car for you. These are the reasons why you should go to the hospital. Or your doctor is going to examine you on my test. If there's need for test, they'll send you for test. And if there's need for drugs, or maybe the appropriate drugs that are needed. So that you don't force problem for yourself, not just for today, in the future. So, like I said, on my car, you see your body, on my name, you go to the hospital. The hospital, the doctor, then they are near your brain. To avoid this problem oh. of antibiotics oh. resistance, still remain Dr. Odina Adobe Chinoye from Yemen Mission Hospital every day. Thank you so much.